right, so today's experimental recipe is best southern pralines. So I pre-measured everything and it's cooked stovetop. So this is gonna be interesting. We have one cup of sugar. It says one cup of packed light brown sugar, but only have uh, dark brown sugar, so that's gonna have to work. It says three quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. I don't have that, but I'm gonna substitute evaporated milk. Um, but this is only a five ounce can and I need six ounces for three quarters of a cup. So I'm going to substitute again with two tablespoons of buttermilk. See how that turns out. Um, has a, asked for a eighth of a teaspoon, which I found in the drawer. Yay! Of baking soda. I ground up the pecans um, to make it easier to eat. Because uh, it can be kind of hard because these are the uh, praline pecans. So we're going to be using that. Mm. Uh, four tablespoons of unsalted butter. We have salted butter, so I'm not going to add the half a teaspoon of salt because that's just a whole lot of salt for no reason. And a teaspoon of vanilla. So, it says add everything into the pan except for vanilla, salt, and the pecans. So, we leave the vanilla and the pecans since we're not adding salt here. And we're going to go over to the stove and start throwing things into the pot. <laughs> and wait for it to melt down. And once it's all melted to 236 degrees, we don't have a food thermometer like that because we're not fancy <laughs> or professionals. So, we'll figure it out. All right, let's uh, do this. So, we'll start with the butter since it turned heat on already. Get that going. We have a uh, dark brown sugar. Hope that doesn't make too much of a difference. Regular sugar. This is the heavy whippy cream. This is the one ounce of buttermilk substitute. Put that in there. And the condensed milk, five ounces. I have my conversion chart here. Because three quarter cup is 12 tablespoons, <laughs> six fluid ounces. 175 milliliters. Math. Ew. I mean, it's wonderful. <laughs> and we need the baking soda. What is So stir over medium heat, stir regularly until it begins to foam or bo and foam and boil. And then you stir constantly until it reaches 236 degrees. It doesn't say Fahrenheit or Celsius. So Fahrenheit, I'm, I guess. Once it reaches that temperature, remove from the heat and add pecan, salt, and a vanilla extract. Stir vigorously with the rubber spatula for three and a half minutes until the mixture begins to thicken. The more you stir, the thicker it gets, and then you do plops until it cools. And once it's cooled, you have pralines. Yay! All right, so it's starting to bubble. So now we just have to reach uh, 236 degrees. So I grab my infrared <laughs> thermometer. 
Who's that? 151. <laughs> so weird. I've never used a thermometer or anything like this. It is an experience if you've never done it. It does smell like pralines though. I feel my fat cells smiling happy. Hmm. It's reading high. I'm not giving me nothing. All right. Well, we're gonna go with it's reading high and it's angry. So, because we use salt and butter, we're not gonna add salt. We will add the teaspoon. A teaspoon for sure. Mm, teaspoon of vanilla, and then uh, sprinkle in the shredded, crumpled pralines. Oh, angry! So angry! <laughs> stir, stir. We should we just ah, screw it? We just we're dumping it. <laughs> it sounded horrible. Mm, mm, mm. It's probably gonna be more like a cookie. Starting to set already. All right, now we just let it cool and firm. come back, break it up, and see what we got. Okay, so we have the best southern praline pecans here with substitutions. <laughs> it's a little messy. Let's see how this turned out. It's not bad. Obviously crunchy. So, lessons learned. Don't smash up the pralines, the, uh, the pecans, and mix them in. Um, but it's still really good. Very, very close to actual southern made pecan uh pralines uh, if i do make this again i will have the light brown sugar and we'll have a heavy whipping cream which we substituted but, mm, good stuff god bless thank you for watching stay safe and see you next time <laughs> there not hot enough well, <laughs> I guess it's in protest. It doesn't want a temperature. Do the temperature for food? <laughs> I just spit out the battery. It's like, screw you, lady. <laughs> I have never heard that happen. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> That never happened to Martha Stewart. <laughs> sure, it is.
179.8. We're getting there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> God bless. Stay safe. Click subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. And we'll see you next time. And we'll see you next time. And none for you, puppy.